angry about the idea that children are going to be exposed to a virus five times more contagious than the one we masked everybody for last year. A Norman school board member upset about masks, asking the district to take legal action against the governor. I want to pursue the legal avenues that we have to defy Governor Stitt. And that is where we begin at 6. I'm Jolene Cheney. And I'm Kevin Ogle. A school board member upset that students won't be required to wear masks because of a state law signed by the governor. News Force Thomas Fleming is on the story for us tonight. Thomas. Kevin, that school board member statements now going viral. The comments coming just hours after state Democrats filed a bill to repeal the current law that prevents districts from putting mask mandates in place. I'm very, very angry about the idea that children are going to be exposed to a virus five times more contagious than the one we masked everybody for last year. Norman School Board member Linda Sexton fired up about the lack of a mask mandate. I want to pursue the legal avenues that we have to defy Governor Stitt. That call for legal action now overshadowed by this comment just a few seconds later. If there's any way between now and the beginning of school that we can get this changed, I hope we can because it's just not okay for kids to commit murder by coming to school without a mask. And when it comes down to it, it's possible. They will, ch they will cause a death of another child because they come to school without a mask. That's not okay. Sexton now apologizing, saying in a statement that she went too far. Norman superintendent also saying, although board members are free to express their opinions, quote, that does not mean those opinions represent the opinion of the board as a whole or the official district position. Governor Stitt's office telling News 4, it is inexcusable for an elected school board member to call children potential murderers because they cannot or choose not to wear a mask. No matter your politics, this divisive rhetoric is uncalled for. We reach back out to the governor's office to ask them for a specific comment on potential legal action. A spokeswoman sent us the same statement again. Just a few hours before that meeting last night. I have a five-year-old nephew, and he's starting school. That's terrifying. House Democrats introducing a bill to repeal the current law. Author Melissa Provenzano wants to put the power back in the hands of schools. I've had so many parents, I take calls every single day going, what are my options? Because I feel like my student or my child will not be safe. Seven other Democratic representatives have joined Provenzano as co-authors. Some saying even if the bill doesn't get passed, they hope it will put pressure on the governor. Every time somebody reaches out to me about this bill, I'm like, make sure and reach out to the governor to make sure that that office understands. And the House Democrats say that they understand the bill will likely not get passed.